Alright everybody and welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year to you all. I hope you had a wonderful holiday season and to kick things off, Lamax has released their 2023 Village lineup. So with that said, let's get into it. Okay, so today is going to be exploring both the website and some footage of the 2023 Spooky Town lineup. Not the Christmas lineup, we'll save that for another video, but today is going to be Spooky Town. I do want to be clear though, they have not announced the exclusive houses yet for places like Michael's, Gift Spice, etc. This is going to be your standard Lee Max lineup for 2023, plus three picks of mine that I'm ultra excited about from today's list. Okay, so as we begin scrolling here, you will see a couple things from past years, etc., that are still available, but nonetheless, let's just focus on really the houses for 2023. There are some cool little accessories though out the gate that you're going to notice, like a fashion show, things like that, some new lamp posts, etc. But the first house we're gonna see is one of my top picks. It is the Phantom View Apartments. This is probably the one I am most excited about so far. It looks absolutely amazing, has a really cool elevator feature right in the middle, has some ghosts going around, and it looks pretty big, so I'm hoping it has a nice footprint to it as well. There is a lot of animation, a really cool soundtrack to it. Um, I do believe it's probably gonna be one of the pricier ones this year, but you are getting quite a bit. This is all stuff you can explore on the Lemax website. I'm just giving you some previews today, but this is one that I am super excited about and hoping to get the chance to review. As we continue to scroll, there is stuff like the Samantha Supernatural. You know, it's just some cool houses that don't exactly have all the crazy animation and stuff, but still something to take note of for those of you that are into that kind of theme. It's really cool. There's also the last straw house that looks like it would be a fun little accessory to have as well. Another pet shop, which is cool. You know I'm a fan of pets so that's nice to see and the next one here we go this is where we get into some of the even more exciting stuff as well the full moon diner this thing has animation sound lights it has everything and there is a lot of hype about this one already everybody is talking about this thing it looks really nice and i'm hoping that it delivers in person it's another one that i'm hoping to review and it's definitely on my list again for top picks. Now, as we continue to move on, there is the Mystery Meat Canning Co. This one has a really cool feature that I don't think I've ever seen in Lamax, and it's on the brain. The way that it moves, there's something in it. I don't know if it's latex or rubber or what, but it creates this really eerie effect. It's got, again, the sound, the animation, the lights, etc. It's the full package, you know, but this one is cool. I don't know if it's gonna be the biggest house in the world, but again, we haven't seen it, so we don't know. These are just images and videos, right? But it looks really cool. I think it's gonna be up there with the top tier and gonna be another popular house. Uh, and it's definitely on my list. Okay, continuing to move is the Trick or Treat If You Dare. There is a huge community for the Trick or Treat houses. We haven't got a new one in a while. And this one is exactly what you would want from the Trick or Treat style stuff. So I'm super, super stoked on that. It's definitely one that I wanna pick up and review. Continuing on is the House of Shadows. Now this one doesn't gonna have all the glamor, but it does have some lights and some kind of cool effects that kind of take you back to old school classic spooky town with the way that the lights flashing behind the silhouettes, if you will, and the windows kind of reminds me of some early stuff. So that's kind of fun. There's also the four bonding Adobe. I hope I'm saying that right. But we're also seeing another feature we've never seen from Lamax, which is on the candles, they actually use like that flicker thing you would see on like an LED candle, something like that, where it's actually moving. That's kind of a nice touch. We'll see what it looks like in person. I've never seen that on a Lamax house. So again, they're really expanding on this 2023 stuff. They're going in new areas, the new adventures, right? To different style animations. And it seems to get better year after year. There is so much hype for the 23 line. There's also the Gothic Hills Funeral Parlor, which looks kind of fun. As we continue to move on is the Haunted Aquarium. Now this one doesn't have the sound and crazy animation or anything like that. It's more of just kind of a lit house. But look, this one's getting hype. So there's something about the aquarium theme, which we rarely, rarely get. And this one looks very spooky. It's another one that I'm hoping to review. And again, has a lot of hype around it immediately. Okay, then there's gonna be some other things like Pumpkin Cottage, Skeleton Cottage, 
Ghost Cottage, Wanda's Cottage, a lot of cottages. These are probably going to be on the smaller side would be my guess. They're almost like a little theme within the theme, if you will. Uh, but we'll see. You know, they're they're venturing out in all different directions. We'll see if they're popular. I'm sure if they become popular, they're going to venture out on that theme even more. But we'll see. So as we start to finish off on the 23 line, there's some new things like Haunted Cemetery Statue. Continuing to scroll here, we see the Creepy Bulletin. And then the Pumpkin Snowman. Uh, I'm excited about that one. I think it's going to be another popular feature. We'll see. And the Haunted Tree Trunks. These are probably going to be, in my prediction here, the most popular figure slash accessory, if you will. They look ultra cute, and I think that they're going to just blow up. I really do. I think this is going to be kind of like the little ghosts were from the 22 season that everyone loved. I think this is going to be another hit like that. Working our way down, there's going to be everything from the witch van life, which looks kind of cool. I like the color scheme on that one. Coffin bar. And then the pumpkin patch train. This one I'm interested in seeing. I hope it's decent size. It looks like it's going to be a cool piece. We'll see what the delivery looks like. Next up is the creepy covered bridge. Reminds me of that Department 56 piece, uh, Birch Bridge or something. I don't remember the name off the top of my head. But anyway, it looks like a smaller version of that. So we'll see. Uh, we got the Newly Deads, Rotten Candy Shop. You know, these are going to be more of just kind of the figures that are coming out this year. Pumpkin Patch Vendor, Woof, Woofy Eats Out. You know, they're, they're having some accessories, of course, for the actual houses themselves, which is always nice if you're a collector to get the accessories that go with the actual house. Okay, just finishing up here, you're gonna see a lot more different figures, things like that. They always release a few every year. And then some of the houses from the previous year as well that are gonna still be available. So that is kind of what we're looking at for 2023 in the spooky town world. I wanted to get a quick video out, just kind of showing you, getting the word out about everything that's coming your way. I hope to do this about the Christmas collection as well, but I figured this would be a great way to kick off 2023. My top picks, like I said earlier, that I'm most excited about from the standard line are going to be the Phantom View Apartments, the Full Moon Diner, and Mystery Meat Canning Company. I think those are going to be a big hit alongside with the Trick or Treat, if you dare, because there is a huge community for that, like I said. So I think 2023 is going to be a big success for Lamax. There is so much hype around some of these already. We are a long way off from actually getting these in our hands to review, but I'm hoping to review a lot of them and display them because come on, I mean, this 2023 line is absolutely killer. So if you're looking for more information about this, you can go to the Lamax website. I think it's like lamaxcollections.com. Everything is there. You can take a closer look at all the specs, etc. And hopefully in the coming months, we will get the chance to review that. But that's for another video. So again, guys, thank you so much. I hope this was a fun little quick sneak peek into what's headed your way. Again, there is a lot more to come for the 23 line as far as exclusives go. But that's where we sit as of today. So thank you, thank you, thank you for continuing to support my channel. What a way to kick off 2023. It was a big surprise to wake up on New Year's Day to see Lamax has announced. So what a day. Breaking news. Big news. I'm super excited. Thank you, thank you. And as always, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one.